stopping the broadcast and going live. And look, let me change that right there. Hmm. Okay, what is it? What is it we're doing first? Um, liquor. Well, which liquor? We're oh, Buster. reviewing oh. all the liquors, please, sir. Oh, I never did finish playing that song for you that was offensive. It was a takeoff of Chipmunks, but it's uh, Chestnuts Roasting Over an Open Fire. And there's a part where the parody guy, who of course is um, Nat King Cole, mm. stops to talk to David Seville. Mm. And suddenly, instead of this beautiful, smooth, relaxed voice, it's gone back to like Al Jolson from the 30s. And Andrew's like, oh my god! We're like, we'll have to ask Ed if this is offensive. Because he's like, yes, sir, Mr. Seville. And that's how Talk of the Tavern rolls. We're a little offensive. You have been warned. It's, it's all the black guy's fault, right? <laughs> yep. Blame it on the brother. Reviewing. Filibuster. Filibuster. Did I spell filibuster right? Oh, my yeah. God, without you my... can goal. see. I can't see. I thought I made it big. If you know what I mean. Right click on it. I know. Aren't you guys glad you stuck around for this? All you people viewing before? Oh, right. Okay, so reviewing filibuster. Let's do it. Gin, bourbon. And whiskey. And whiskey. Do they have an E in their whiskey or not? Yes. And a K instead of a J. <laughs> it's a Swedish whiskey. It's a whiskey. <laughs> the Q is silent. My name is Dennis. Why would you touch me? <laughs> it's a broadcast. Oh, see, look, we're broadcast. We're there. Yay, look at that. Why would you touch me? It's a broadcast. Oh, see, look, we're broadcast. We're there. Yay, look at that. Why would you touch me? It's a broadcast. Oh, see, look, we're broadcast. We're there. Yay, look at that. Why would you touch me? It's a broadcast. Oh, see, look, we're broadcast. We're there. Can you hear music or is it in our 
quiet. <laughs> well, you know what? It's because we didn't mute that. All better now. Oh, okay. there's music on there? Well, it had the sound coming through, I guess. Oh. So, yes. let's see who we have watching it. Can Does anybody you hear know? Us? I should put stop touching M&M's. Put it down. Read the E. Maybe you know what I mean? <laughs> That's what comes after the D. <laughs> oh, by the way, you got wet wipes in the bathroom. You know what that means. You seen chips yet? <laughs> Spoiler! <laughs> <laughs> Whoever it was left. <laughs> Oh, why did you do that? Nobody really knows. Nobody at all. Who's but they already did an update yesterday or whatever. Who's here? Nobody. Oh. It's us and Stream Elements, we're alone. Oh. Mm-hmm. That makes me better say. See? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good. Hey, Wynn, how are you? <gasps> Let me ask you, Wynn, since we know you, <laughs> is the sound okay? And can you hear all of us? Can you hear us now? Can you hear me now? We'll wait here. <laughs> <laughs> can you get it off of the delay? <laughs> can put, I? That, put the other thing on. She just like said, get it off? Yeah. <sighs> are you okay with her? No. Okay. Better. So it's good, little little echoey, huh? It might be the low ceiling. Echo. Well, it could be the low ceiling. It could also be come. Come, 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 come. the recording level. I can knock the recording level down. Do it and see. Hold on while I play with the mic. Knock you'll, it down. You'll like the, you know what? Let me put on my reading glasses so I can tell what the hell I'm in. Oh, sorry. That's okay. I need to turn mine now. Ah, there's a recording level. We'll just turn it down like this to 70. There we go. See if that's a little bit better, a little less echoey. Are we still echoey? I'm very twitchy. We're going to all turn down our phones now. I turned mine down. It's just vibrating. I haven't turned mine down yet because I still had, you know, the song to play for Ed. We'll just do that. No, no difference. No difference. So you suck, is what she means. No, then she'd be happy. Okay. I don't know what it is, then. It's all broken. Can we... I don't blame Russians, Trump, Obama. Who would blame them for it? Santa. I blame them on not having any damn whiskey in my glass. Yeah, because somebody takes too long. Okay. See, and they call me a drunk. It's a whiskey tasting, right? Well, actually, it's a drinking show. All right, give me some alcohol. We're not going to have a cigar as a timer, though, you know, when we're done. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, look, we're just going to pass out some whiskey here. So which one is that? That's the bourbon, right? Yes. So you want to pass that down to Ed? I was going to present it. Oh, present. Okay. He can pre okay. She so can. what Ed will be drinking today... I, I'm, I'm looking at the, that instead of the camera. What Ed will be... Don't put it away. I'm good. Just talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look. We're giving you a chance. Anyhow, what Ed will be drinking today is filibuster. Can I see the label so I can see what is it? Oh, my God. Don't you know? I'm that age. Dual cast, handcrafted, straight bourbon whiskey. Finished in French oak. French? Oh, hell, I can drink that shit. You can't drink? No. Sure. Ooh, la, la. So oh, only the barrels are French. I love to see. They are like, I am a barrel. I want you to fill me up with your yummy, yummy liquid. Mm -hmm. The barrel said. Mm. I'm just going to give you that now. They stole it from the French. And, <laughs> and Andrea will be drinking. Filibuster mm. dual cask boondoggler whiskey. No. Boondoggler. I don't know what that was. I'll doggle her boot. No, that's a rye, right? Uh, this, yeah, it's it's not. Let me keep that over there in case I, you 
need to read it. <laughs> you have your reading glasses? You do. <laughs> I need mine. Wow, we're old here on the Tucker Tavern. Like like no. Usually your glare is off your computer screen. So, of course, these computer it screens are like 17 feet away. How's the nose on that? Good nose. Rye um, and bourbon. Is that what it says? I believe so. I smell sherry. It's in a sherry barrel. I know sherry. Lovely woman. <laughs> it says in a... Yeah, in a sherry. You got it. You know I drink it? Yeah. Ding! Here, this is yours. You want to hold it so you can read it? No, I'll get to it in a second. I'm going to let him give his opinion here. Um, first thing start, start, the finish is a little burly. A little bitey then? A little bitey, but it's good. How's the aftertaste? Yeah, it's it's a little strong. The aftertaste is a little strong. You can taste some sweetness in the beginning though, but uh, it fades really fast. Just like it. Really strong. A little sweetness in the beginning, but it fades. <laughs> <laughs> See? Already faded. <laughs> now, Andrew, you're going to try your streak. And then I'm going to try it with ice, like I usually do. I'll drink it. <laughs> now, like, this is the Bud Dobbler Whiskey. It's a bit strong for me. <laughs> it's good though. It's this. It, it's a bit strong for <laughs> my taste. It's good, but I usually put a cube of ice in mine, so I'm going to try that too. It's good. That'll definitely open it up and smooth it out. Not too bitey, not too burny, to be technical. It's good though. Just a bit strong for me. Would you, uh, you want to pass the glass so you can ice it, or you want to pass the ice so she can glass it? What? <laughs> Here, we're going to do this. Just go on. So I, I don't know. Oh, well, I've got the ice here. I might as well go ahead and use it, baby. Mm. Of course, I've been eating all this chocolate before getting into the gym. Don't do that. I've already done it. It's done. I like your little ice cubes. They're cute. Thank you for liking my little ass. I, I, I do not like your ass, ass cubes. <laughs> you. <laughs> and why you poop in that shape is just really what? crazy. What? It's snowman poop. Oh, here. Like you were saying, Ed poops like a snowman. Obviously. What? Like, that's an off color joke. Oh. I like the feel of the labels, by the way. Yeah, they're textured and. It's like a good quality, and I like the. the I cork really like here. cork. Yeah. So this is the gin. I'm going to try a little bit straight out. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. You can just smell the juniper and sweetness. Are you a gin guy? No. Yeah, you can. Do you want to smell it? No. You want to? I'll go some of that. No, I'm allergic. Oh, you don't have to. It makes me allergy. But I have to. Yeah, there's a reason we don't drink Ken straight unless we're in Sweeney Todd. <laughs> it's still good, it's just, it definitely has that medicinal rubbing alcohol burn to it. So now that I've tasted that, but yeah, the flavors are definitely there. They're very strong flavors. You want this too? I do, I want that. First, I gotta pour my gin in. That's a lot of gin. It might be. Uh, so when are you working from home today or you were out of the house working somewhere else? Are you playing hooky? 
We won't tell. I like a little squeeze of lime in mine. Right out of the bottle. There we go. Would you set that back over on the serving tray? <clears throat> Sorry, but respond to the loved one. I will never have a problem with you answering my text. Okay. Now, as a gin and tonic, with a squeeze of lime. Shaking that stud. Or neither. Setting up for your own street. What time are you going on? And I think she means video stream, not just like in the cup for the doctor. Whatever. See. If we had hers on there, we could do this and watch that and comment and drink. What? 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 In the butt? Her, her farming thing. Right. We could watch it, drink alcohol on. and comment if we had this. I don't know. We would need a separate computer so we could watch hers and. No, I mean all of it on the same. We're not that technical. Like Mystery Science Theater. Hey, there's Mac. Hey, Mac. Hi. <laughs> yeah, this is our, uh, as you can see from the title, we're reviewing filibuster Lunchtime. alcohols. And then we're doing tea and coffee. Then we're coming back with moonshine, rum, and vodka. Yeah, baby. Finish it off right. You do. Good to see you. I had a question for you. I watched you make cookies the other day. That's oh, yeah. Question. Watch Mac watch yeah. cookies. Yeah. And cool about streaming Planet Coaster. We always like Planet Coast. Is that the one where you kidnap cows? I don't think that. That's a farming simulator. No, I think it's actual coasters. Is it? Yeah. Uh, well, I, I know there's one where she makes a theme park. I watch her build a creepy donut shop. Oh, creepy donuts, my favorite. Well, it's supposed to be like 1950s and very exciting. Yeah, it is creepy. But she put like this donut in there, or a hot dog, or it was a hot dog. She put a hot dog in the donut. Uh, That's was... dirty. <laughs> She's all like, fuck food. <laughs> so, this is finished in American French oak barrels. Ooh la la. They have it coined as gin of uncommon character. Batch number three, they did 2,500 bottles in that batch. And this is 70 proof. This is batch three. Ooh, the lucky number. It is. But it's a... Whoa! UFOs kidnap cows in both your planet coaster and That's awesome. Do you only play games where cows can be kidnapped by aliens? Because I would understand if you said yes. What if cows are the aliens? And they're just going home from vacation. They're the toddlers that ran off. What? What? Wait till you see their final form. <laughs> I saw that on YouTube. So this is a blushing gin with vibrant aromatics and a long, smooth finish. It looks yellow to me. That just begs for a splash of tonic and a long summer day. Oh, this is better. Sounds like description of porn. I'm not complaining. Hasn't happened in Fishing Planet yet. Well, it's got the word planet, so it's probably got cows. And you have See, they say it started in the nation's capital, led us to the deep limestone well in Virginia's Shenandoah Valley, where we discovered the perfect... That's here. That's here. It is. It's like, <laughs> it's like a couple miles away. <laughs> wow. uh, yeah, we're broadcasting from the wonderful and welcoming Summers Land. Did I get that right? Summer Hill. Summer Hill. We're on a hill. Isn't it Summers with an S at each end? <laughs> oh, Summer Hill. Your name is Ed Summer, not Summers. Stop it, will you? Go, just go a little bit. Sorry, fall this out too much. Sign when you came up the yeah, summer. she said, it's a potato. And I'm like, what? <laughs> She's like, golden russet. I'm like, oh. <laughs> well, we have given out way too much information about our location now, haven't we? <laughs> you want to give the numbers too? <laughs> We're on a farm where they grow potatoes and summer and sausages. And cows. And summer sausages. <laughs> Well, the summer sausage is gross here. <laughs> <laughs> I like this better with the ice in it. So this says, uh, yeah. It's really, a lot smoother. It smells kind of sweet. It reminds me of pancakes. I don't know why. It, this 
smell. Like that it's sweet and pancakes. <laughs> Maybe the kind of pancakes hungry. you have when you come from an alcoholic family. Uh, yeah, Waffle House. It does smell very sweet. It does. Yeah. A bit of a... And and it's I like it better with ice. Here, here. Hey, wait, let's do this. You know what? Here's to being here, here. Here's the summer sausage. <laughs> um, by the way, I think we need to open the show with the opening toast from now on. The regular Monday night show? <laughs> just, just, no, we never just, do. No, I'm saying right when we go on air, start with the opening toast. Here, here. Here. Yeah. Are you going to remember this? Yeah, I don't promise anything, but Ed will be like holding up his glass going, I'm ready to drink. Let's drink. Like I have been for the hour. Are the fish abducted by aliens in Fishing Planet? Or maybe the worms? Only the cowfish. The worms before they go in the fish. From behind. Yeah. What are you vaping? Uh, I need tobacco. Nice. Yeah, we're not smoking in here for a few reasons. First of all, I don't want to. we're indoors in Ed's house. And though it was initially allowed, he smoked something in here and realized it went through the whole damn house. So it'd be worse. Plus, we're right here. She, when you're that close to other people smoking something, yeah. that's not so great. It's okay when it gets warmer and we can go outside. Yeah, or broadcast from our house. We'll see. We could just go camping. How the hell are we ever going to broadcast from my house on my internet? We're not. That's just not happening. We'll go camping. We could go camping. There's camping stuff. Because, you know, something else we could do on Twitch. It doesn't have to be live. We can't upload a video. Mm -hmm. So, anyhow, uh, there's another paragraph on here about the gin. I never did read mine. It says, we're barrel guys, and so we set out to create a gin. We made it uniquely ours with dual cask. First, our master blenders infuses fresh Hand harvested, hand harvested botanicals. What's botanicals. a botanical? Mm. Grown right here in the Shenandoah Valley, including the holy basil, rosemary, and lemon verbena. And we call on oak barrels at power, depth, and complexity. Don't operate when using heavy equipment. Wait, don't operate heavy equipment when drinking this. That's what it is. Probably best if you don't operate when using heavy equipment also. Don't most doctors? I don't know. Do I look like a doctor? I don't know. Do you operate with one on TV? I played with one on TV. Yeah. Or stayed in a holiday. Hey, we were on TV. The second episode of, was it the last airship came out? That's not the last episode of the second airship, but the second episode of the last airship. Yeah. And by the way, I do believe next time we might see if we can get Ed in an episode. <gasps> Yeah, I'll be in the episode of Star Trek. That's what we're telling them. <laughs> we're like, no, you won't need that insignia. Just take that off your chest. So, do, do you want to tell us about yours? Uh, okay, filibuster, dual cast, straight bourbon whiskey. Yeah. 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 Finished in French oak barrels. Uh -huh. Batch number 19. Total bottles, 3,870. Yeah. Small batch. Government warning. Recorded. Oh, uh, no, not that. Um, <laughs> well, they're watching us. That's the warning. For the first part of our aging process, our master blender selects the finest charred American oak cast. We then age our small batch bourbon where, uh, where the carefully selected oak yields a sweet and full flavor. It is very sweet. Um, after initial aging, the bourbon is transferred to white. Wine seasoned French oak barrels for finishing. Oh, too bad. Um, the bourbon has the following, following mesh bill 75% corn, 21% rye, 4% barley. That's not a bourbon. What is it? Uh, oh, yeah, okay, sorry. 75% corn. Whiskey. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, this attention detail results in a bourbon so smooth you can't stop talking about it. 
uh, age less than four years. He does stuff. feel like he's been uh, talking for a while. Though. I'll probably stop talking about it once I drink enough of it. <laughs> but, uh, it it's good. I, I drink it again. So what would you give it on a scale of one to ten toasts? Well, one being the, the best, best. The worst. One being the worst. And oh, okay. being the best. Uh, an eight. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. An eight as far as bourbons that I can drink. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, see, we've got this horrible rating scale where honesty is built into it. So, like, five is average, and Bud Light is a two. Is it that high? There's a lot worse out there. Than, there is. Yeah. I think I've had it. Yeah. The Beast. Mm. Ah. Not saying any names, but yeah. Yeah. On my 18th birthday, somebody went and bought beers, and we started out with, like, Bush or something, which I was okay with because I had had it before. And we drank that, and he's like, wait, we want to go get more, but this time we'll go cheaper so we can afford more. And he brought back Milwaukee's Best, and this is 18 years old. I probably weighed, I don't know, 23 pounds, and I already had, like, three or four beers. We go get Milwaukee's Best. I take, like, one drink. I'm like, you can have the rest. If that's the best Milwaukee has to offer, um, that's... Have you been to Milwaukee? Yeah. Since Laverne and Shirley left, really not a lot there. No. no. Yeah. They got Hoffenstetter Incorporated, but even that one out of business. Sorry to all our fans in Milwaukee, but yeah. <laughs> We're sorry. I'm sorry you, you live in Milwaukee. Well, I wasn't going to say all that. Oh. She's not sorry. Passed again. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. okay. You need some tonic there? I want to try a little bit. Okay. okay. Before we started, Ed was like, well, with all the alcohol we have, I'm not going to be trying everything. Yeah, let me try everything. No, I want to try a little bit of that. <laughs> so. Okay. It smells like a Christmas tree. Do you need tonic? As much as Jim's do. No, I'm just going to. Okay. Sure, yeah. He's going to have it like, you know, he used to have before surgery in the 1700s. I, I have an uncle that, uh, can't visit when my mom passed away and uh, hadn't seen him in years and years and years. And he's like, What'd you have to drink in the house? Go down to the bar, take a pick. I want gin. So I gave him the gin that I had on the bar. Thank you. I'm not saying that because we're sponsored today by so I'm not naming them. No, I thought his name was. <laughs> he was a tanker in the military and his name was Ray. I was like, How do you want it? Straight. Oh. No, I said nothing. He drank a half a bottle of gin straight. Oh. See, and I thought I came from a long line of accomplished drunks. No, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. What do you got in your bottle? What's in your bottle? Well, for the boondog with whiskey. Oh, I can't read that. Oh. <laughs> It's the, I think it's the colors. A bountiful. Does that say bullet? Bullet. See if you can read it better off the map. Bullet. Uh, I can't say the word. A bountiful. Bloviating. What the hell is bloviating? No, no, no. It says bloviating. Yeah, bountiful. Yeah, bountiful bloviating. What Blend is bloviating? Blend of Ryan bourbon. Artfully aged in a caucus of cooperage, including American, French, oak, and sherry barrels. Okay, I'm going to go look that's up bloviating. Why I can't, that's why I can't read it. There's, that's too much. Looking up bloviating. And they have a little bit of alliter alliteration in there. Uh, what started in our nation's capital led us to a deep limestone well in Virginia's Shenandoah Valley, where we discovered the perfect water. I've got the definition for bloviate. It's to talk at length, especially in an inflated or empty way. What were you saying, Andrea? <laughs> Where we discovered the perfect water for making exceptional whiskey. Twists and turns of colors and taste. When this dram gets poured, ne'er a drop gets to waste. Wynn said the marketing on this booze is pretty pretentious. <laughs> Indeed. How about the public presentation of this particular, uh, damn it, what's a drink word that begins with P? Bloviating? 
Piss. He's pretty pretentious. Anyway. Woven from grains and barrels from all over the globe and all corners of the distillery. At least they sweep him out. The boondoggler was originally crafted by our master blender for his personal consumption. A secret no more. The final step is aging a year in used bourbon barrels to tie all the component, components together. Enjoy on the rocks in your favorite cocktail, or as we tend to drink it around here, bust her up. When I say bust her up, usually I'm not referring to drinking. I'm referring to mugging. Buster, I want to go to Dave and Buster's. Have you ever been to Dave and Buster's? Mm -hmm. Any interest? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're familiar with it though, right? Yeah. Okay. It's like adult Chuck and Cheese. Um, I could actually drink this shirt. Not bad, huh? It's, it's yeah, uh, very, very flavorful. Very, very flavorful. The, the lemon and the rosemary really pop. So, uh, when you add the lime, you keep on getting these like threads of citrus yeah. that are overly pronounced in, in like this. Do you want that? Do you want tonic? I don't want tonic. Well, the, the tonic gives it a little bit more sweetness. Mm. I don't like tonic. Uh, neither do I. I only drink it in gin and tonic. Which is odd. I'm not a gin fan. I'm not a tonic fan. But you two put the two together. It's I like pretty gin. good. I like gin. She's nice. Yeah, she I gotta show you off the bench, you know. Probably can't show him off his bench. She hmm. runs retro daddy on Wingspan. Mm -hmm. Good? Yeah. Yeah. You don't need much in there, right? I'm looking at their website here. Hey, there's three out of the four things we have. Oh, they have a straight rye whiskey. whiskey. Yeah, actually, I'm curious. Where is products? They have quite a bit. I've I've done research on them. Where's their stuff? Probably down the street. Uh, uh, what? Uh, uh, uh. R.W., are you broadcasting today? Mr. Mac? Oh, he left. Fine, be that way. We don't care if you broadcast. We don't know them, but we're not going to call them out because they're they're lurking and they're welcome to lurk. Hi, person that's lurking, and we're not going to call you out because you're lurking, but, you know, if you'd like to say something, uh, appreciate you being here. They totally called you out. I didn't call you out. I want to point out that I did not call you out. But I didn't call no names. Well, you know who you are. You know who you are. Yeah. You know who you are. So it looks like they've got filibuster dual cast bourbon. Yeah, right here. That's what he's got. That's a straight bourbon whiskey. Oh, no, that's what it says too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, you think they'd put what's on the label right there? Whatever. Yeah. Wine enthusiasts liked it. Uh, dual cast rye, which we have not tried. I don't know if I like rye whiskey. Their gin, the boondoggler whiskey, triple cast whiskey. Oh. That's Kentucky bourbon whiskey. Cast, That's not uh, this. Spanish sherry, that may actually be very, very good. American oak, and what's the third one? Did I say? Two distinct sherry oaks. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Including They're Spanish distinct. sherry, Fino, and Pedro Azimez, making one of the most exciting. Uh -huh. Okay, so yeah, it's it's two sherry oaks and one white American oak. Oh, and by the way, these I don't know about the gin, but the rye and the bourbon, they're bottled at cast shrink, so that means it comes straight out of the barrel, no water added or anything. So you're getting a real deal. They spell triple differently on their website than they do on their bottles. Oh. Huh? And originally I thought maybe it was a mistake, but it's in both places. And, and it's in quotations, so maybe it's their thing? Maybe. Oh, have a great broadcast, uh, when we might stop in. Bye. Bye. But we might be here for a while, so we might not. Go abduct the cows. Yeah, have fun abducting your cows still. Have fun storming the castle. What's that? I, I clicked on buy. Their product. Oh, uh, you have to buy from this distributor probably, so you sure don't have to search for the product. That sucks. We should just go to the ABC store. We should just drive across town to where they 
bottle it and go. Oh yeah, we can. Hi. Hey, have you been to an ABC store lately in Virginia? No. Why? They are carrying more and more premium whiskeys and alcohols. It's, it's, uh, Not where we are. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Um, I have a, even seen like twelve year Jameson disappearing oh, over the past couple of years. Yeah, because the one here in Marshall, I haven't checked in town, but the one in Marshall, I stopped in there. Uh, the bottle of that other whiskey that I had the other night on the show. That's where I got it, and I was very, very impressed. And and the gentleman when he checked when I checked out made mm -hmm. a point of saying we're starting to hear it more premium. Nice. I did notice on the ABC website, you know they have tastings, like yeah, yeah. four or five days a week. Mm -hmm. Because uh -huh. some of the other ones that sponsor us do that. It's There's like Mechanicsville has a tasting. That's near us. Yeah. Um, up here, I want to say there's there something like tomorrow. Or, um, a ooh. lot of them near D.C. and Richmond, they do that. There's a list. I have a list somewhere. I like your light bulbs. Thank you. <laughs> they are. Don't stop staring at the light, Walter. Hmm. Now nah, I'm debating if I can. Uh... See, that's that's a problem of being broke. It's hard to like just randomly go. I think I'll redecorate a room in my house. Too. <laughs> so did you put the flooring on the walls also right there? Yeah, that that, that is flooring. Is it? Yeah, I just stained that yesterday. We still got a polygraph in it, and we're actually going to build a barn door for there. Because nice. those walls were like this wall, right? Uh, it was just painted before. Yeah, that's yeah, what right. I thought. Oh. Now, I is that like the flooring or is that the flooring? That's not flooring. Okay. That, that is flooring. Yeah. So this here is what's on the floor. Mm -hmm. But that over there with the swords yeah. is. It's uh, paneling? Uh, Wings coating, paneling, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's some damn nice uh, crown molding you get there too. We made that ourselves. Did you? Wait, what? <laughs> Is that like a four by four that you, or two by fours that you router to stack? It's a uh, nice. um, two by four, or um, actually one by four uh -huh. that we router and stack. Yeah. Look at you showing off. Well, I'll make sure I appreciate the details because I know I like the it, show. it's nice when you do all the damn work and somebody recognizes that there was work put into it instead of just bought and just set against the wall. That's why the trim's not done because we're making the trim ourselves. Oh. It's been too damn cold to be outside. Overachiever month? Cutting it to it. I like making a little trim. It involves wood. Picking up a little trim, making a little trim every now. So what are the what are the things up top? Are those just like rice and bean mixes? Uh, here? Yeah. Just rice. Yeah. Uh, so what's the black, the black things in there? Uh, black rice? Uh, flaxseed. Oh, okay. And then uh, probably wild rice. And, uh, yeah, just rice. I can tell by its behavior. Potatoes. Dry potatoes. And, uh, you you want to explain what we're pointing at here? Or? See, <laughs> when we came in today... I walk in and Ed's like, you could choose any of the walls for the yeah. backdrop. Now, what I wanted to use, this was actually my second choice, what's behind us right now. What I wanted to use was, is what's to our left. Uh, which is just, it used to be his DVD racks with his TV in the middle, and they've taken out the entertainment center in the center. Ah! And they put a, I guess, kind of a old wooden baking rack sort of thing. It's a hutch. A hutch. It's a hutch. Yeah. And to its left is Starsky. Um, mm -hmm. But the DVD shelves now hold seasonings and canned goods, empty jars for canning, um, et cetera, et cetera. Nice. And yeah, it's just pretty. It just... It's right next to the spinning wheel. <laughs> it is. And last time we were here, we talked about me taking some of this home, but I don't remember if I had to wait for the next time they do it or what. Next time we'll do it. I'll Is that what it was? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I probably won't remember next time. I'm, I might actually be unconsciously dropping that memory <laughs> <laughs> in case he's like, shut up. Like this time, but next time we do it, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll give you some. Yeah, it's, I'm just, so are these salsas down here? Uh, this is actually down here in the bottom. Uh, that's meatballs and tomato sauce. Mamma mia! Make the make tomato sauce yourselves with meatballs are just frozen out of the store. Uh, that's a salsa in those smaller jars. And the third shelf up with the pieces of corn, is that a salsa? Uh, 
that are so see your meatballs uh, go that, up two shelves okay, okay. your meatballs uh, those that's just tomato sauce no 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 you're too high up one more shelf over and down one two three four here, start on the bottom here <laughs> one two these are meatballs down here on the left uh -huh. right? so you go up two shelves uh -huh. what is that Oh, that one right there? Yeah. Oh, it's a, a chili. Oh, okay. It's a chili. It's got beans and corn and meat. And Aren't you glad this is on video, guys? Just a Mexican chili, yeah. <laughs> Mexican chili. Salsa is over there. Why is it going to be Mexican? Oh, okay. It don't have to be. <laughs> it was made by a white woman with Native, Native American heritage, so... What That's that better. <laughs> 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 Yeah, it's pretty. Yep. <laughs> so it's I, just like sitting in the pub. When I came in, I actually mentioned, well, we could sit at the, the short end of the table. And it's like, well, it's going to be kind of a tight fit. I'm like, we could turn the table. Next time, we'll turn it. And, and you could tell. Ed's like, no. I will do this if he insists, but <laughs> goddamn, I don't want to. Why do you have your pink? What comes naturally at my size? I think next time we should just sit over there. Actually, that'd be great. Because there's no back. And then I just stand there going, mm, I see it. On the floor. <laughs> Indian style. <laughs> <clears throat> you don't have lots of extra antlers, do you? Yeah, that's all we have right there. Okay. If you have buddies that hunt that bring you extra antlers, what or do you find people in our red neck I, 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 I want to make tampers out of them, pipe tampers. Oh. Yeah, I'll cut them off and then I'll get a, uh, a shell. That's all nice. And then sand down the bottom and then put the shell as the brass foot. So you just want the tips then, yeah, right? Just the tips. He just um, wants the tip. Might have some for you after I make buttons out of the rest of those. I'll say you want awesome. tip. Yeah, because I don't need... If it's thicker than your pinky, it's probably too thick. Okay. So I need the part you can't use for buttons. Right. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Interesting, isn't it, people? How do you make your buttons? How do you do that? You just saw it up that thickness and draw a button or something. Okay. It's that simple. Yeah. You got to go slow. Use a the right tip on yeah. your drill. Well, I'm just saying, but otherwise you'll enough. crack it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Home crafting with dead animals <laughs> on top of the dead. Yeah. So did you hunt the deer? No, I haven't hunted in thirty years. You must be hungry. Well, you got all these jars. <laughs> Empty jars. Can you guys see this back here? It's the greatest thing. That was my jacket. Was that better? No, no, no. You can see it before. Oh, okay. It's a... Uh, it's so a candle heater. Back in the olden days, <laughs> they would take these wrought iron racks and put them in the fireplace when it wasn't winter, and they put candles on them, big old fat candles, so it provided your light without overheating your house and whatnot. And this is a modern representation where not only do those little guys light up without any heat or flame, but it has a heater built into it. So you can actually put that damn thing in your fireplace and heat the room a little. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. It is. Feel free to send me one. <laughs> They're on Amazon, apparently. They're on Amazon. Mm -hmm. We can get you a link. Did you send it to Talk of the Tower? Uh, I couldn't send it directly to Messenger. I would have to post it to my page. And... They wouldn't let you copy the link? No. I got memories today. Memories. 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 What was it called? Candle heater thingy? Is that Duraflame? Oh, okay. Dura flame. Dura flame has some really cool candle. Things. Sure, just put candle and see what comes out. Candle, candle heater. So, oh, oh, I like that one. That's a hundred dollars, or this one you get a bunch of them <laughs> for a hundred and seventy. Yeah, but see, I need something like that for my craft room. Actually, that would be wonderful for your craft room. Um, What's up? Lowe's carries that one. Oh yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> so this is what she's talking about for anybody who's still hanging in there. Now that's a single one. It, it, that's not what's behind us. If you click on the link, it'll take you to the other one too. It should. Well, the link will just take them here. I just copied it. Scroll this. down. Never huh? mind. <laughs> Sometimes it has. Hold on, I still yeah, it does. I like those too. Ceramic? Yeah, they're purry. 
They got a pretty heating coil. Yeah, I need some type of heating thing in the craft room. So when I make candles, they actually make candles instead of it just doesn't melt. You can melt if you want to. You can melt on your friend's behinds. Oh, you blow. Oh, that's so pretty. There you go. Pretty. I'm going to try some rye. Is it? You can try what? Some rye. Oh, okay. You pass that down. Present it. Or did you not want me to try it because you're oh. taking it home? No, no, you go ahead. You notice how there's a little more out of that than the other one? Oh, you like this one more? I like that one a little better, yeah. I think I'll... No, 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 drink, drink. Oh, okay. He's going to read it. I thought he was like, he doesn't, down remember, drink. he doesn't remember what I said when I read it. Oh, no, no, that was like 10 minutes ago. It's that word we had to look up. Ambivalent. What, no. Buster Rock? No. Boobalent. Boobalay? That's a singer. Boobalicious. It's not sweet. When you put ice in it, it makes it sweeter. It yeah. opens up the, it's, I think it's better with ice. Just one piece of ice is very good. Yeah, one piece of ice is very good. Two is better. <laughs> I noticed he invited us both over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you volunteered. <laughs> yeah, Hell yeah, I did. <laughs> No Bob, <laughs> I'm, I'm there. Surprised Bob's not on here. He's probably working or something. Yeah, he's working. Yeah. You know, I wonder if I could do this. We got Cher. Let's come Cher? over here to, let's see if our friends in Russia are up. Oh, that is very Isn't that nice? Ooh, yeah. yeah. I like Smooth it. Smooth through and through. And, uh, it's a bit strong until you put an ice in no it. No body whatsoever. No. It's, it's very good. Not with the ice. Not with the ice. It's really good. Hold on, you guys talk. I'm typing this up. I'm reading. More people. We're reading. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so exciting. I need a chip. You need a chip? I need a chip. Take a chip. Take the whole bowl, please. Okay. Thank you. Very fine chip. Please. Okay. Oh, you know, let's see. Mm -hmm. Just let's go ahead and do this also. Why not? Hmm. We're going to see if we can't get some... Uh, You're going to share it now that we're probably almost done with this? You know what, though? Yeah. There you go! <laughs> what are we doing next? Coffee. Woo! Tea and me. Tea and coffee. I like the Mad Hatter coffee. I'm very picky. Followed by... Blue Sky... Dog Star Vodka. And dry pork. And Black Beards Point Rum. Oh. Hold on, get an extra character. Hmm. And dry pork fruit distillery. Moonshine. Various moonshine. Moon shown. It's apparently moon giant <laughs> past tense. It's very exciting. Hold on, there's not two eyes in moonshine. Unless you drink too much. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll even. Oh. Yeah, I'm totally lying about that last part, but you know what? Maybe they won't know. They're not we listening can, yet. We can pour it for them. I'll drink it. Let's see what is in that. Now we can share over here to Facebook. We'll throw oh. on my page. Throw it. Now we'll share it over here to Twitter. Tweet, tweet. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know nothing. There we go. 
And that's not going to allow me to either. There's too many characters, probably. Yeah, all the spaces. That's okay. We got it. Hmm. I'll just do this. Oh. oh. What? The excitement is too much. Get out the spaces at the bottom between the two lines. Yeah. It, it's only going to give me two characters. I'll do that in just a second. Dink. Dink. What, what are you looking at me for? What happened? Because you separate thing. <laughs> Let's go with that. Oh, still not enough. Okay. Let's take all this and make them these. Oh. Yeah, yeah. There we go. See, what we're doing is we're trying to get it up on Twitter, and you've got to, like, adjust it so it You're fits. You're only allowed three letters. That's <laughs> right. We had ten. None of them could be a Q. That's not a letter. Okay. Hey, let's throw in a VIP. Hmm. Yay. There we go. That's that. Look at Facebook's algorithms. I'll make sure nobody sees it. Yeah. Thanks, Facebook. Just blame everything on Facebook. Yeah, I do. And we'll throw it up here on top of the tavern. I think that should be enough. You guys think? Yeah. Sure. What? I just was reminded of coming to America. <laughs> <laughs> Bark like a dog. A big dog. Great movie. Yeah, I think that's good enough. There's a copy of the clipboard. I don't even go on Reddit. Is anybody watching a Reddit person? It's a frog. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's my go-to Reddit thing. <laughs> Reddit. Reddit. Mm -hmm. Reddit. <laughs> so we're about to wrap this segment up in about five minutes but we've got two more segments coming uh, <laughs> so are we going to, do we want to do coffee and tea third and go straight into the next alcohol we have, third. see we have three segments we're doing three review segments first one is filibuster then we have mad hatter tea and cafe wonderland coffee mm -hmm. For another segment, and then the other segment is the Blue Skies Distillery and the Dry Fruit okay. Pork Distillery. But we could do them in whatever order we want. We could do the coffee and tea last, and that would allow us to get back to the recording quicker as we just switch out alcohols, rinse out glasses, and get back. Okay, okay. we can do that. You, sure. good, you okay for alcohol I'm again? Just here. Okay, so we gotta finish our drinks mm -hmm. because it looks like we've been on 55 minutes. It's a very long time. Oh, yeah. So, uh, here's the... Here's the Ed. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> you said Buddhist. <laughs> Tonight is kind of special. I'm just seeing what else is out there. What so I gotta mix next. Are you drinking the rum on the next one? I thought so. And moonshine for you, right? Yeah, okay. I wanna try a little I bit know, of yeah, the yeah. moonshine. Okay, I'll share. It's just because they're like different flavors. They are. I am not a moonshine guy. It's great moonshine, but <coughs> I'm not a moonshine guy. What do you need if you're on the Coke? Or do you just spread it straight? No, no. It's I'll drink a little straight, but Coke after that. Yeah, I okay. like to try the rum and then add it. I'm, I'm more, yeah. So as for you that's listening and watching, don't stop. Or maybe just one or the other. We'll be right back. Hang out. Give us just a couple minutes. We'll be right back. With different alcohol and whatnot. And then at the very end, we'll be doing a clinical test on does coffee sober you up? Okay. Something like that. Mm hmm. Okay. Maybe I won't wear the hat for that. I hope so. I gotta go there. Maybe I'll wear the hat. Maybe I'll wear a hat. Ow. Let's see if it goes with your mohawk. Oh, um, the red is not my color. Yeah, it is. That's actually not bad. It's a good red. I, normally, I don't look good in blue. I look like I'm from Harlem, Harlem Nights or something. Hell yeah! Yeah, buddy. It's all about Eddie Murphy movies right now. <laughs> 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 he didn't get any hair in it. 
Okay, so hang out, give us a few minutes, and we will be back.